We must tell him that we love him. I want them to sing from the, the, our hearts. Let our system, our sin, and the speech appreciate him. I say, 
In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Heaven and earth, what a God you are. A God that does not impute iniquity. Show us. I show us. We be there too. Thank you for another Sunday to uphold your name. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for taking our enemies by surprise and destroying them for us. Thank you for the church of God. Thank you for the lighthouse. Thank you for that's why you have led the lighthouse. Thank you for where we are today. Lord, in Jesus' name, today, Lord, we have come that you might showcase yourself, showcase your name, showcase your almightiness in this church, in our lives, in our families, in our gathering today, in this environment. And you will take the glory and you give us a blessing in Jesus' name. Father, we commit all the activities in, into your precious hand. Lord, we can do nothing apart from you. Have your way today. We commit our daddy that is coming, his entourage into your mighty hands. We ask for journey mercies. We ask for unction to minister. We ask for peace. We ask for salvation. We ask for healing. We ask for deliverance. These are more that is a package in our redemption. Give to us and more in Jesus' name. We thank you for your servant that you are using. As for any man. Lord, we thank you for the strength, for the grace, for the unction. Above all, we thank you for your presence in his life. Today, strengthen him. Today, use him. Today, speak through him. Thank you for today. Father, I just want to make one request that nobody enters here and go back the same. Give us evidence that you are here with us. Give us evidence that our God is in the Lord are visiting us. Give us evidence of false comers. And at the end of today, take the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Let me tell you, Satan, I have not finished with you. Today I'm going to destroy you. Because in this environment, you have no place. I am commanding you now, from this room, to this environment. What are you still waiting for? When I'm talking, I command you to check yourself out of this environment in Jesus' name. This environment becomes a hot, hot zone for you, open zone for you. Lord, Satan and all the territory, territorial demons, all the uh, environmental demons, all the powers that serve Satan, they will not be here today because Jesus is taking over. Lord, because you are taking over, bring souls, bring men from the east, from the north, from the west, from the south. And when they come, Father, even in this environment, bring something in Jesus' name. And at the end of the day, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration will be given to you. Thank you for a day like this. Thank you for the preparation of this day. Thank you because it is a reality. Take all the honor and all the glory. All those who are working for you today, from the choir to the instrumentalist, to the usher, to every de department, our children, our mothers, our fathers, every nook and cranny of this environment, because we are church, and you are the head of the church, and we are the body. Show yourself heavy and mighty in Jesus' name. We cover our children with the blood of Jesus. We pray for those who are not here, that are doing one thing or the other concerning this meeting. That your name, your presence will go with them in Jesus' name. We cover our water and our food today with the blood of Jesus. Thank you because it is done. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Holy Spirit, it's your turn. I, have, I will give way now and I ask that you take over. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody pray the Lord. Is that the most you can do for the almighty God who woke you up this morning? I said, pray. The Lord is good. You are all welcome to church. Please be seated in your, the presence of your father.
Hallelujah. Good morning, church. It's time for announcements. The first announcement in the Lighthouse Church is that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we have our deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we have our restoration. In the name of Jesus, we have our blessing. So always remember that, and you will remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Days of worship, every first Sunday of the month, we have our Thanksgiving service, and our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adiboye, ministers. Our next Thanksgiving is in April, that's next month, on the 7th of April, and the service starts at 8 a.m. Our other Sunday services, the worship time, we start with the workers' meeting at 7 a.m., and the Sunday school starts at 8 a.m., and the service wraps up for 10.45 a.m. As you plan, may the Lord help us to be punctual in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, we would advise workers to always check the roosters regularly so as to prepare for the days that they are ministering. Sunday school, like I said earlier, starts at 8 a.m. to 8.55. We encourage you to be part of Sunday school every Sunday. Your service is not complete without Sunday school. Today we looked at Christianity and governance. I pray that you will always make plans to attend and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Every Tuesday we have our digging deep from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. And every Thursday we have our faith clinic from 6 to 7.30 p.m. House fellowship. If you are led to give your house as a house fellowship center, Please see our admin, Brother Anderson, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. For now, we have our house fellowship online, and it's, uh, the time is 6 p.m. to 7. It's just for an hour. So please, the links are usually shared on the WhatsApp group, okay? If you are not on the WhatsApp group, please meet the admin desk behind to get the link or be part of that group. Now, for special Sunday with our provincial pastor, is anybody happy in the house? Are you excited? Please, I want to hear you clap. Okay, we have our Father in the Lord, Pastor B. B. He's going to be here with us, and he's going to be ministering today. The team is on Eagle's Wing, and uh, we, we want you to prep your mind as, you, as we all welcome him as a church. Now, also, we have our zonal program, which is Hear My Cry service. Can I hear a clap for that? The service starts, the program is going to start next week, Friday, 22nd, to Sunday, 24th of March. And ministering is uh, the provincial prayer pastor, Pastor Monday. Please, you are going to have the privilege of inviting as many people as you can. And we have flyers for this event. So as you're going out, the ushers and the admin will distribute flyers so that you can invite as many people as possible. Youth Sunday is going to be for this month of March, the 31st of March, 2024. We have classes on, on site, and that's today. Okay, We have believers class today, immediately after the service. The class two is going to be close to the EC2. That's the EC at the back. And then we have workers in training for 30 minutes after the amen today. As you do that, may the Lord bless you. Look to your neighbor, to the left and to the right, and just smile. Just smile. Amen. Good morning, everybody. I want to take... Our hymn, while that hymn is going on, if you have paid your tithes within the week online, I would like you to come out. We'll pray with you. And if you want to pay your tithe also, I'll invite you to come forward. Um, like our brother has announced, we want to celebrate our small victory today. This small house that God has helped us to build, we want to dedicate it today. So our Father in the Lord, the pastor in charge of this province, Pastor B, is already on his way. Shortly he will be here. 
So I would like us to rise on our feet as we take this hymn and all the titles as the hymn is going on, please come forward. Let's pray with you. Shine, Jesus, shine. It will be on the board. Can we all rise on our feet? Fire will lead us. If you have your type, please come forward. We'll pray for you while this hymn is going on. Somebody say, 
Nigeria. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. If you have your tithe once more, can you just come to the front and drop the tithe while we pray? Amen. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We ask King of Glory that next time when we have this great opportunity, may we even give better than what we did before. We ask that you enlarge our coast, you bless our businesses, you bless all that concerns us. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. May we be seated. Amen. Can you welcome someone to church this morning? Tell the person you're welcome to church. Tell the person you're welcome to church. I want to, for some of us, we may be aware, for some we may not be aware. But I want to tell you this, in, this morning that there is someone in the room. And he's in the room, he's not just in the room, but he's in the room to meet your needs. And that person is Jesus Christ. Amen. So whatever the burden is, whatever the challenges is, I want you to know that the person who is able to handle those challenges is in the room. Tell someone he is in the room. He's in the room. He is in the room. He is in the room. There is nothing impossible for him to heal. He is in the room. For as many that do not know him, I want to introduce him to you. He's the God of all possibility. And he, with him, nothing is impossible. Other gods can fail, but our God can never fail. And that is the God that is in the room this yeah. morning. He's in the room. Amen. We have a special number this morning that says he's in the room. Yeah. So as many that feel forsaken, we feel the whole world has deserted you. But I want to tell you that for the fact that you are in his presence today, you are not forsaken. Amen. You are not abandoned. And for that challenge that you have come with this evening, this morning, may the one who is in the room meet the challenges in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen and be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't think you guys heard what she said. She said he's in the room. Who's in the room? Jesus. Who is in the room? Permit me to remove my shoe. Because God is in the room right now. And I am a tester. I am a testimony of God being in the room right now. Are we ready?
I'm not forsaken, never alone. God has cause me his own. He's not just seated up in the train. I know his body inside my home. I've got a true here in my heart. And in my weakness, in my faithful, I say to the Lord, you will abide. It's not just me, it's the limits of time. So go back to the gallery, I'll go bring you around, and it will touch the fire. He shot the light, and swallowed the light, so he grew up, and we'll sing by your side. Now we will tell the fire, the front would end the fire, I'll tell you the truth. Oh, 
Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and just bless the name of the Lord, the one that has given the hope in the truth. Uh, my hallelujah, bless you, Jesus. My treasure, my happy place, the glory of my life, the source of my strength, worshiping of some Jehovah, the one that make a life, the one that lifts a breaker from the dunghill and put them in the top of the mountains and bring kings from the top of the mountains and put them in the valley. Who can suggest you? Who can suggest you? So, you are bound, you are ready for me. Yes. Which is, yes. There is no shadow to turn in to this other world. Oh, Father, may it's a day of honor. It's a day of celebration. It's a day to thank God. It's an exceptional day. It's one day we have come to live to remember. It's a day that we have our father in the house, the pastor in charge of Lagos Province 16, coming to celebrate us, coming to bless us. The expected is there to come. And finally, here we are. Amen. Slow it down. It's not easy for this day to come. 
in our lives because our daddy has at least 120 churches like us, bigger than us, to cater for in this province. Everybody wants to have a bite of his grace. But exceptionally, in a very short notice, he has accepted to be here, and to the glory of God, he's here. Today, join me as a welcome Hallelujah. Your mic is heavy. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. It amazes me what I'm looking at. Because the last time I saw this place, I saw it as a carcass. Beloved, it is unimaginable what God can bring out of your life from what I'm saying. Well, put the toilet here. Don't put the toilet here. Put what I'm seeing today. Is on, you can't imagine it. It will be a mistake for the devil to look down on you. Because when God is done with you, even the devil will not believe it. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate. Pastor Joe, I want to thank God for your life. God bless you. God bless you for your doggedness. God bless you for the vision that has been sustained. God bless you for standing. And I want to thank everyone who can see with the eye of faith what God is doing. And in your life, in your family, you will have a testimony. No man can see the hand of your grace. Ah. No, the end of your love. No man can know the end of your power. No you are exalted, you are exalted, you are exalted, you are a Oh, <laughs> 
I cannot hear myself. So I will give you a monitor. I'll give you a monitor that will be used to hear yourself. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. You know my key. Motin Rabao. I <laughs> We declare your majesty, we proclaim that you are Lord. Thank you because in you we live, in you we move, and in you we have the whole of our being. Outside of you, we are nothing. Thank you because you are the one unto whom we have gathered this morning. And we know when you are lifted up, you draw men unto yourself. As we have lifted you up this morning, draw us away from our problems. Draw us away from our sorrows. Draw us away from our pains unto your presence. Let the joy of your presence fill our lives in the name of Jesus. You said, I have not asked the house of Jacob to seek me in vain. Everyone who had come to this meeting this morning, they will not come in vain. As we bring the bread of your word, Daddy, let the heavens be open. Bring us. 
in a way that only you can bless. And let everyone return rejoicing. Thank, Thank you, Tana Father. We pray, pray for light out that the good work that you have been led in the last call. In the name of Jesus, let your light come in to shine in this place, in the life and in every family represented in this place. Let darkness never be able to comprehend what you are doing in their lives. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Please help me to celebrate the wonderful choir. Celebrate and God bless you. Please, you can take your seat. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. Let me celebrate the musicians now. Celebrate the musicians. God bless you, guys. God be with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, okay, let me look at the time. I have. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know how many of these for the five of you already. Don't don't know. Know. Praise, Praise the name of the Lord. Lord. Let, Let me start, start by thanking God for Lighthouse. I want to thank God for what God is doing in this place. Um, when the man said, he this morning, um, I want to let him to see this one. The hand of God is upon you, sir. The hand of God is upon you. That hand will not be removed in the name of Jesus. Every seed, everyone in this place is a seed for what for the people of life now. As this is starting to grow, your life will grow, your family will grow, your business will grow, everything you want to grow in your life will grow, and stagnancy will be destroyed completely in your lives. I want to say happy Sunday to everyone and thank uh, I want to thank God for um left for me to arrange myself to go from one party to the other uh, it may be difficult but it's it helps me when i'm invited to quickly come and break protocol praise the name of the lord so thank you for having me pastor joe and all the ministers and workers in the house i've been asked to speak on um, on uh, the eagle's wings i guess on the eagle's wings and uh, sorry i didn't uh, i couldn't give you the bible reading so let us take the bible reading together because it's very i should have sent it you should have read it so that i wouldn't have to read it again but uh, it's important that we read through the bible reading the bible passage is taken from deuteronomy 32 Deuteronomy 32, verses 9 to 14. The media, you can help me because many people come to church without a Bible. At least, least I know that in my church. church. Maybe they are not here. Praise the name of the Lord. If, if you, you have it on your phone, phone, it's good. You can look through it. Deuteronomy 32. 9 to 14. Can we go? You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I did it. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's my text. That's my text. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's all the Bible reading. Pardon me. That is my text that I will take later. Um, Deuteronomy 32, 9 to 14. Sorry for that. For the people of Israel, is that it? Okay, let me let me take it from. Uh, let me take it from. Uh, let me take it from New King James. That's New Living Translation. Nine. For the lost portion is his people. Jacob is the place of his uh, inheritance. Verse 10. He found him. That's God found him in a desert land. And in the wasteland, a howling wilderness. God. Is the one referred to, refer to he enriched him, he instructed him 
He kept him as the apple of his eye. Eleven. As an eagle stares up its nest over over its young, spreading out its wing, taking them all, carrying them on its wing. So the Lord did not let him, and there was no foreign God with him. Thirteen. God made him to ride in the heights of the heart, that he might eat the produce of the fields. He made him draw honey from the rock and oil from the flinty rock. Verse 14. Pot from the cattle and meat of the flock with part of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan and goats and the choicest wheat. And you drank wine the blood of grapes. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Now, that's the Bible reading. Now, my text is what I was reading earlier, Exodus 19, verse 4. My text is taken for Exodus 19, verse 4. Exodus 19, verse 4. Said, you have seen what, what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagle's wing and brought you to myself. Let's see what it says in NIV. New Living Translation. New International Version. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I carried you and brought you to my how I bore you and brought you to myself. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. There are two animals that God identified himself with. Two animals, the lion and the eagle. If you're reading about the lion and the eagle in the Bible, it's a semblance. It's a type of God, a type of Jesus. God identifies with these two animals. On the eagle's way, the word eagle is mentioned 32 times in the Bible. 32 times from Genesis to Revelation. You can go and search it out. And in spiritually speaking, 32 stands for the for the for covenants. 32 is a figure that represents covenant spiritually speaking so the desire of god is, is to produce himself in us through his covenant by using the life of the ego as a subject to us because the god we are serving is a covenant keeping god so every time he introduces this, this object to us that tie that, that, that is typical of him, is he uh, wants is showing us hidden, hidden, hidden knowledge, revelation of what he has in store for us. When you look at the Bible reading today, that book that Deuteronomy 32, that way you will see God telling us. What he has done for somebody, and which he can also, which was the same plan he had for us. Many of us, where we are today, where God took us from, who is unimaginable, where God picked us from to come to himself. I picked you. He said, He said, He found him in a desert land, in a wasteland, in a howling wilderness. I package you, I enrich you, I encircled you, I instructed you, and I brought you to myself to make to make it to become the apple of my eyes. That's the story of salvation. That's the definition of our salvation. When God saves a man, that's all he has done. That's all that is all he has done. done. So, so God is in this place giving us a picture of the destiny of every child of God. So are we together? God is giving us a picture of the destiny 
of every child of God. When I mean, when I say every child of God, I'm talking about everyone that is saved. Sorry, I think I'm uh, as I'm moving, I'm disturbing you. Please the name of the Lord. Sorry, I'm not like that. Did you? That did you stay in one place? Praise the name of the Lord. The calling, the calling when you read first Peter chapter 2, verses uh, 9 and 10, you see that when God brings us, God brings us when he chooses when us, chooses it, us is with an, it is with, with, with a purpose with, in mind, purpose with, an in mind, in mind. with an end in mind. And it and doesn't matter where you are taking from. from. It picks the different of us, the different different children of God, or God that picks from different situations and circumstances. But God has one has one thing in mind. He will give me a hope and a future. According to the Jeremiah 29 level. It doesn't matter where God pick you from, it is with the intention of giving you a hope and a future. Some translation of the Bible calls it expected end. So, so when he, he says, I have not called the house of Jacob to seek me in vain, God doesn't God call without purpose. without purpose. It's a purpose for God. So, so the destiny of, of every child, child of God, God is the picture is the which picture was being painted in the Bible, Bible passage we read this morning. This morning. Speaking, speaking about, about, speaking about, about uh, Moses, you know, you know Speaking, speaking about, about Abraham, Abraham, speaking, speaking about, about the patriarch of old, they were people that were picked from from But when you look look at their story, when you read their story or their history, it will amaze you how God ended with them. Praise the name of the Lord. So everyone redeemed by the Lord is a spiritual ego meant for the sky. Meant for the sky. You were taken from where you were taking from where you to were, where you are now, to but this is not where you are going to end. And you are meant to get, get to, to get the very top. top. Can you tell me what the pastor is talking about? In fact, it's not pastor. The Bible is talking about you. You are meant for the sky. You are meant to be the best you can ever become. You are not meant to be in the valley. You will not stay in the valley. There's any in the valley this morning, God is going to give you out. To the mountain top, to do it there to dwell forever in the mighty name of Jesus. So, what I'm saying is that redemption entitles you to a flight in the highest level of life. Redemption entitles you to a flight in the highest level of life. You can be your best for God. You can be your best. It is not what you are doing. That the that time is how far can go. It is because you serve. Amen. Amen. It is God you serve. I've, I've seen people selling the and, and I've, I've seen them, I've seen people, you know, taking them to where even people the oil, oil and gas business, they are not going here. I am not, I can count a lot of them on, the, on, the, on my fingertips. People that God has really shown mercy and favor, doing what you never knew can be money. And when we are talking about people that have money, children of God that have money, we can talk about them. So, but for you and I to soar as an ego, it is not an ambition. Amen. Hello, church. Hello, church. For, for you, you and, and I to swear as an individual, it is it not, not an ambition. ambition. It is our heritage in Christ. It is your heritage to swear. That you want to be the best. It is not, you are not being ambitious. That's what you are meant for. That's what you, where you are meant to get to. Whatever you are doing, that's what you are, you are, you are, you are destined to be the best you can ever be. That potential is in you. The seed to be the best is in you. So can, can somebody tell me the topic we are looking at this morning? What topic are we looking at this morning? On the ego's wing. On the ego's wing. So the ego, that's why we are talking about flight. That's what we're talking about height. Because the ego is not a low-level animal. The ego operates at the highest level. Lift up your hand and say, Father, Father whether the devil likes it or not, I am created to operate at the highest level. 
before I see you face to face in your glory, I will operate at that level. Say it confidently, say it by faith. I will operate at that level. Nothing will stop me, nothing will delay me. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. It is not an ambition, it is your heritage. Which, Which one is so no, it's too much. That thing is too much because it's too much because I have not got it to where I'm destined to get to. If you are not, are not comfortable with me, you can take a walk. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give testimony to the day. Give testimony to God. You come, come with say, come. You know, you keep short. You tell them that you are not the one who is saying that God did you. Tell God to stop. When God stops, I will stop testifying. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So, for all to show us as an ego, like I said, it is not an ambition. It is our editing in Christ. I want you to, I would like somebody to get angry and confirm some of the things we are saying today because God was purposeful. When he created you and when he created me, in a, in a, in a, um, Ephesians chapter one, Ephesians chapter one. Let me let me let me let me let me read it from eighteen, verse eighteen, New, New King James. He says, "The the height of your understanding." Let me let me start from seventeen. I don't want to take long to take long scriptures. He said, the God, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ is the Father of glory. He may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of men, so that the eyes of your understanding can be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of glory of his inheritance in the same. Let me now say and what, what is, is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power in us? Amen. Which he worked in Christ Jesus. Listen to listen to that scripture, verse 20. When he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places. Amen. Where, yeah, where did this is Jesus? You know, you know, you know, you on, know the right on the right hand, level, 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 places on the right hand of right God. Or by the time you get to, get to verse 21, that right, that right hand, hand level place now far, far above principalities, principalities, far above power, far, far above mind, and so mind. praise the name of the Lord. Now, now, if now, you now, now go to Ephesians chapter go 2, can somebody now go to Ephesians chapter 2? You now go to Ephesians chapter 2 and you get to verse 5. Don't, don't forget what we read. Don't forget what we read. Bro, we just read Ephesians, Ephesians 1. 1. Take, take, even when we were there in trespasses, in he made us to be alive together with Christ. Amen? And we went us up together. Of and make us to sit together, together to in the what? In the heavenly places in Christ, Christ Jesus. In Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. And where was Christ and sitting? Was Christ far above. Far above. So, if so Jesus is sitting Jesus far, is far above, far above and you are seated and you are in Him, in where, him? Are you where are you sitting? Far above. Far above. Tell your neighbor, it doesn't matter your opinion. opinion. It doesn't matter your opinion. I'm sitting far above. Far above what the devil is saying. Far above what the enemy is thinking. That is my place. That is your place. That is where the ego operates from. The ego has a bed that has many enemies. But he but doesn't have time for them because he's operating, he's operating at the higher, at the higher level. level. You see, you see, the, the, the people at the top they don't hear the rumor that others are saying because they are not at the level of the rumor. And the people are at the level, they move from room to room. You don't hear, you don't hear. And the people they are talking about is going higher. This is where you are destined to be, and that is where you shall be. Where you shall in the name, be. Name, of Jesus. 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 Name, name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When you matter, you when become you the matter, matter. You become the that people are, people are talking about. Praise the name. So you will become the matter. What I'm saying that people will talk about you, but it will not pull a single strand of hair out of you. 
Just to continue, you are on the eagle's wing. I said you are on the eagle's wing. In the name of Jesus. Now, every year play you see, they need to generate enough power to overcome the force of gravity before they can, they can fly. Every year play. That is why when they are about to take off, you see the sun, you see the noise, then they, 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 they trust. There is a trust that is created that propels them on the ground. And when that trust, when the power generated is more than the, the resistance of the gravity, the plane the power you need as a child of God to fly. Comes from the power, comes from the power of as spirit that they are in to them give to the power, them power, them power to be called the sons of God. John chapter 1, verse 12. When you can fly to nowhere, you cannot fly unless fly if you are flying you as a as, 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 as an unbeliever, you will crash. You will crash. You will crash. Because it is only what because God does that know. endures forever. Whatsoever the Lord does shall be forever. That's what the Bible says. But whatever the devil does, whatever man does, if they may not be able to gain eye, they will soon come down. Because they don't have the power to sustain it. Power to sustain it. So if you are going to go on this flight, the starting place is receive the power to take off. And that power to take off comes from your connection with Jesus, the one who is seated where you are going. Far above. That's where we are going. Far above the opinion of men. Far above the machinations of men. Far above the antics of men. Far above the antics of men. There is a song I love to sing. Motilo. So far, that way, Motilo. Che Otilo, Motilo. Ina we tap it up. So far, that way, Motilo. Otato lomura ogura. Lati bani la yoye. So far, that way, Motilo. You know that song. So you can tell me anything. I don't go. Uh, the enemy is trying try to stop me stop from, going. from going. To go and tell me it's a waste of time because I don't, I don't go. go. Once you are Once connected with Christ, Christ, the power, the power to, take to take you to your, to your destination, destination has been deposited in you. And then, so the starting point to embark on this flight is your connection. That is why if you are not in Christ, I'm afraid, you, you can, can seem to have to have made some, some progress in life. It may not be a, an enduring progress. It may not be an enduring progress. It may not be an enduring progress. Unfortunately, I was sharing yesterday. Unfortunately, the what we see in the body of Christ, it has it has caused confusion. But no one is is the gospel is simple. Don't let anybody deceive you. The people who put prosperity preaching. Before the cross, they are going to avoid the confusion. You see, prosperity, blessings, and all that, they are not before the cross, they are behind the cross. There are things when you embrace the cross, there are things that are supposed to be added to you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and all this right. And all these things shall be added. You know what has happened? We are now pursuing what was supposed to be added. And there is confusion. So pay time, don't pay time. The devil has taken advantage of the church. But I'm talking to members of my house this morning. Let Jesus be the author and finisher of your faith. When you look unto Jesus, again, there is no food. You don't take your heart away. What is not enough will soon become more than enough. You didn't get the revelation. <laughs> even in that pain, even in that discomfort, if you don't take your eyes away, if you don't get distracted, it is just a matter of time. You will get to where you are going. Your journey will not be truncated. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to so say loud and clear. My Savior is right now seated on the right side of God. That if Jesus is your right, if he is your Savior, he's seated on the right side. Then I want on the, that right side is far above principalities and power. I said that right side, that right side, that right side, that right side. It's far and above. It's far and above. power. Then tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, do you know what? Ask your neighbor, I can't see you talking to anybody. Do you know what? That is why I'm sitting right now. Far above principalities and power. 
Please tell your neighbor. If you know, 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 you Praise the Lord. They can get annoyed, but they can do nothing about it. Nothing. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. Now, I'm going to say another one that you have to ask for the interpretation. I will want you. Like the end word, but don't want to go. Now, let me stop with that. It doesn't matter how hungry a hen is, a chicken is, and you know they love this. Once you put a place inside a pot, you you it. doesn't matter how often that is. When you look at the pot, you look at the place, you the pot, you will walk away. That's what the enemy will do to you. When they look at you, when they try, and they are not making any way, they will go away. That is where God is taking us to. I'm just using this familiarity to let you know how heaven operates, how everyone wants to, how, how God wants us to see him, to see his work, how he wants us to embrace the cross, how he wants us to carry on in life. This thing is not difficult. It is prosperity God and preacher that has brought all manner of confusion and made it to look difficult. Even the things you don't understand, the, 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 the gospel is so simple. That's why the Bible is talking about faith. It was talking about a mustard seed. God doesn't want you to start climbing your tree from the leaves. You start climbing from the bottom. Amen. So a mustard seed like faith is enough. That's all you need. That's, That's all you need. You don't need a big faith. Just believe it. And it will help you on daily basis to go in big grace. You understand what I'm saying? It will help you to grow. Just hold on to him. The deception in the body of Christ is too small. Things are as bad God as they are making to you. We are not saying when you come to Christ, that will be a problem. That is us all. But we are saying, can't you see what the Bible says? Chapter 4, verse 19. Chapter 4. It says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Even the righteous will be afflicted. So don't let anybody tell you that once you want to cry, your problem is over. It's over. True. Even, Even the righteous, righteous may be afflicted. But the Bible says, but the Lord delivers him through all of them. them. One by one. If, if the enemy gathers, the temptation of them one by one. One, one by one. one. That woman caught in, in, in adultery. When Jesus was done with the enemy, they let out. How did they leave? One by one. Then he got to the point. Jesus looked at the man. Where are your accusers? I said, I did one gone. They will leave you alone. Then you leave you alone. Then you leave you alone. Why can't you leave you alone? Why can't you leave you alone? Why can't you leave you alone? To serve your God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord. Because when this problem see that you are are seated is too much, far above, they must leave you alone. That is where the ego belongs. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. To to be on ego's wing here. Therefore, Therefore, it's not a place. It's not a place to be. It is a secret place. Amen. It is a secret place. It's not a place. It's not a secret place. So when you see somebody jumping and talking, that is not don't be deceived. That person may not even be near any ego. They may not be near any ego. It, it is a state. It is a state. state. And you will know, and God will know. And the devil also will know that that's that it. Because he will not be able to touch you. I want to read about that the spirit bearing and the spirit bearing the spirit that was made that we are the sons of God. You will know. You will know. You will know. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 18. The Lord knows those who are his own. God will know. God also will know. And the devil will also know. We know, know and leave you alone, you know. but he doesn't like to waste his own time too. He likes people that he can get quickly. The devil will not get you. So, to be on the eagle's wing, number one, it is not a place, it is what a spiritual state, a spiritual state where you can buy a state, a state where you have incubated yourself, a state where you have surrounded yourself with power. A state where the, 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 the word of God is already be, is settled in you. That when the enemy 
comes, you can say it is written in the spirit. Jesus demonstrated that for us. It is not written in church because the church can come, the devil can come to the church and hold by your head and nobody will rescue you. It is not a place, it is a request. That's number one. Number two, to operate on the evil's wing is to occupy. A rightful place in God. God. Remember the remember scripture we read, Ephesians 1. And you remember the scripture we read, Ephesians 1. Jesus was seated in heavenly places on the right hand of God. On the right hand of God. Meaning on the right hand where he knows what is right. Where he knows what is right. Where he professes what is right. So, for you to, to be on the good thing, it means you are occupying your, 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 your rightful place in God. God. You are where you're supposed to be. You are where you're supposed to be. Where am I supposed to be? Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. That's where you're supposed to be. Place is the man. You know the scripture? That is where am I supposed to be? That's where you're supposed to be. Where you are walking, where you are sitting. Where am I supposed to be? Psalm, uh, I think Psalm 24, Psalm 24, uh, maybe 25 and 6 or so. It's like, who we are sent unto the ease of the Lord. He said, The one that has clean hands, the one that has the pure, the one who has not lived, lifted his hand unto the sea, uh, unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. That's, That's where you're supposed to be. be. That's the, 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 those are the situations that are. That can be referred to at the right side of God. Not somebody who is telling lies and is using God as a witness. <laughs> Even God knows. God sees him. Not, 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 not such a person. Elijah, in, in 1 Kings chapter 17, he said, as, one, he said, as long as the Lord leaded, in, in whose presence, presence I am standing. You have, have to know where you are standing in him. When you know where you are standing, you can boast, you can beat your chest and boast for the devil. When you don't know where you are standing, it is dangerous for you to make a boast. It is dangerous. That was when, when uh, what's the name of this woman? This woman the wife of Jezebel. I mean, is it the king? When the king is like, God is covering his He can, he can look at a king, face to face, and say, "It's you and your father's house." What a boldness! That boldness doesn't come without you knowing where you are standing. When you know where you are standing, trouble will come. Others are running; you are not running because there is a blessed assurance that you are walking with. Praise the name of the Lord. Church, are we still here this morning? If we are here, shout hallelujah. So, I said to be on the eagle's wing is not a place. It is what? It's a spiritual thing. I also said to operate on the eagle's wing is, is to occupy the rightful place in God. To occupy our rightful And I try to describe what I meant by that. Using Psalm 1, verses 1 to 3. Using 2 Timothy 2 19. Using 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, to operate on the eagle's wing is to have dominion in life. Is to have dominion in life. Is to have dominion in life. So when you are here on the eagle's wing, this is what it means to have dominion. That in the midst of trouble, your soul is not troubled. You can sleep like a baby. Oh, Jesus demonstrated that one. He, he, he put his disciple in the, in the boat. He said, let us cross to the other side. No sooner that they enter the boat, they slept off. And there arose a storm. And the people who are dealing with Jesus, believers, pastors, ministers, they started running up and down. But the master of life was what? He was sleeping. That is what it means to have dominion. The, yeah, there's problem in the in the finances. There's problem in the economy of the nation, and you know that. Uh, uh, for us, things will happen. You know, and they're asking you how. You don't know how. You know that is not your assignment. 
your assignment is to know that it will be well. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, they say it to the righteous that it will be well. It will be well. It will be well. It will be well. That woman, that widow of Zarefa, when, when, when the son died, this, the son that God gave him, God gave her to a prophet, just cried one afternoon, my head, oh, my head, oh, and before you can say Jack, he was dead. He was dead. And the woman, she, 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 she got herself and started going to the man of God. Because this son, I did, I did not even ask for this son. It's God that gave him so. God will not be looking at the devil will take it. God will not allow the devil to take it. It's not possible for the devil to take And when she was going, she saw the other one, so I said, what is happening? Is it well? She told her husband, it is well. But she left a dead boy in the house. That's what it means to have dominion. You are not trouble. It's not this one that something small happened to you, and when you go out, everybody see your face, know that everything is wrong with you. So, what thing happened? Even not believers are asking, what thing happened? That's not dominion. That's not dominion. That's not dominion. Oh, I know, I know a brother today is a high flyer. I know that brother when he had, we did youth service together. I did youth service in Ondo State, Akure. We did throughout my youth service. After the khaki, he, has, he had only one Ankara. After the he NYC khaki, the only Ashok that he had is one Ankara up and down. That brother became end of a band in this, in this, in this in Lagos, 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 Lagos. And he had a joyful spirit. He was a child of God. He didn't miss anything when he had only one. Because we were couples, we were always doing any little thing. Sitting down within five minutes, this thing can come to a party. He will still party with his Ankara. Today, what God has given him, some of us don't have half of it. Brethren, it's not today that matters, though. Tell your neighbor, it's not today that matters, though. Don't look down. I'm warning you, don't look down on me. Oh. Because of the way today moves. Because my tomorrow will be well. My tomorrow will be well. Now, let me share this with you. I, I'm a young man. I'll be 60 next month. But my high don't, my high don't see. Let me share this. I, I studied in UI. I read, I read veterinary medicine. I'm a veterinary doctor. In my I my profession is six years in the university. I entered in 83, I left in 89. So by his grace, I spent six years. I met somebody, my set met somebody in the veterinary school when we got there in 83. He had been in the university two years before us. So he was in the university, he entered in 81. So it was two years our senior. But we met him in the same class in 83. As we're going, I think 84, 85, no, I think 86, 87, we left him again. He repeated again. So we became a senior. So when we left school, he was still in school. I did six years. He probably did nine years. But, but he was a Christian. When we met him, he would be laughing and smiling. I won't mention his name because somebody may know him. So when we left, we went for, in fact, in, 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 in Ondo, we don't use that. We, when we are passing by the let's go and see him. How are you doing? I hope you are reading your book. <laughs> we became uncle to him, advising him. Somehow, somehow, because he, he's a child of God, he finished. Whether nine or ten years, he finished. And by the time he finished, he was overage. He can't do youth service. So he went for master's in Belgium. And news got to us that he was the best master student in his class. And we were laughing. We were making jokes that if he was the best student, then we are qualified to be lecturer in that university. <laughs> because it was like, when we were in class, when, when lecturers say, do you understand? All of us will look at him and say, do you understand? Even when we don't understand. It was that bad. But he finished, he finished in Belgium one year, master, and United Nations employed him. 
He has never lived, he has been living in Geneva. He has close to six houses in VGC. I don't get land for VGC. That I'm telling you, it is not now that matters. When you are an eagle, you will surely fly. This guy is a high flyer. It's a, it's a story that I will keep in my I will keep in my heart till I see Jesus. That how were you able to keep this boy? It was not frustrating. What we are saying did not frustrate him. Brethren, don't let anybody stop you. What where you are destined for is high there. Let's rise on our feet. Let's rise on our feet, church. God is not done with you. The devil cannot cheat you. He cannot cheat you. You are destined to fly. You will fly. Your business is destined to succeed. It will succeed. Your career is destined to be the best. It will be the best. Just hold on. Just hold on. Lift up your hand and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to, begin to bless the name of the Lord. What you need to fly, you need power. You need power. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we bless your name. We give you grace. We give you honor. We give, we give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Are we ready to pray this morning? Are we ready to pray? It's only one voice, the boy that came with me, that I'm hearing. Are we ready to pray? It's better. What do you need to fly? In the course of this short discussion, I've mentioned something. I've mentioned something. Number one, what you need to fly is what? Power. Power. That you can't fly unless you are connected to the one who will give you wings to fly. Jesus, that's salvation. And I quoted John chapter 1, verse 12. To as many that believe him, he gave the power to become. This is the power you need initially to overcome every, uh, what do you call it? Every resistance, every force of gravity for you to take off. Amen. Taking off doesn't mean that you get to the height where you'll be. But when you maintain, when you sustain that power, it takes you to that height. It takes you. Have you not read it that the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, those who are connected with me that they will know that scripture, that the path of the just is what? It's like a shiny light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. If you have that power and that power is sustained, you will continue to gain height. You continue to gain height. You continue to gain until you get to the level where every other animal are below you because you are now the ego. Praise the name of the Lord. It's important that we operate with that power. If you don't have that power, you don't have Jesus, there is no. That flight cannot start. That flight cannot start. Number two. So I want us to, I want us to pray. Say, Father, loud and clear, Father, empower me this morning. Empower me this morning. Give me the power from one eye to be able to embark upon these flies. Give me the power. Give me your power. Give me your power. Give me your power. Give me your power. Empower me. Empower me. I want to I want to embark on this flight. I want to embark on this flight. Give me your power. Give me your power. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, literally speaking, that power is not a, it's not it's not a tangible power. When we say something is tangible, something you can hold. It's a spiritual power. It's a spiritual power that allows you to identify what the enemy is doing, not to allow you to go up. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes, in a day when you are supposed to be full of joy, somebody just wants to come and annoy you. When you have that power, you will know what the devil is doing. You will just smile and walk away. That when you have the right to be angry, you refuse to be angry. It's power. When you have the right to hate somebody because of what he has said, you decided that you will love that person. That is the power. That's the power we are talking about. And believe you me, if we, the children of God, if we are operating with this power, we are not just making out. The society will be better than the way it is. And somebody said this about what about it? What he said as he brought me down. So let him continue to say. Some people must say. <laughs> so it belongs to the company of those who are saying, don't hate me. Don't hate him. 
But what do we do? Did you know what he did it for? I will deal with him. You don't have to deal with it. Be gracious. That power it comes by grace. Praise the name of the Lord. There are Christians today, if they put money on high tension, they will take it. They can do anything for money. Anything for money. High tension, if you do it, <laughs> what can you do? Uh, something must come up for you. You know, and that has been there. No, no. Many of you are ready to do anything. You must be ready to do anything for Christ, not for material possession. And that's why we have the society we are including us pastors. You know what pastors are doing? Sometimes I'm ashamed to introduce myself as a pastor. Because a pastor has just duped somebody. So you can't say a pastor are the same. They don't come. Another one don't come. It's, that is this, that is the story of where we are. But it will get better if Christians will rise up and use the power that God has given them the right way. I want you to cry with your voice and say, Father, say, Father, deposit your power on me. And everywhere I find myself, Help me to shine as light. In the name of, let me to shine. Let me make a difference. Help me to shine as light. Everywhere I find myself, everywhere I find myself, cause me to shine as light. Cause me to shine as light. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Number two, the necessity. The things you need necessary for this fly. We have set power. We have prayed our power. The second thing, faith is a necessity. Faith is a necessity to make this flight. Father Abraham, known for his faith, he was known, and because he was known for his faith, he did not only, he was not only a high flyer in this world. It was even a high flyer in heaven. Remember, remember the story in Luke chapter 15. The rich man. Even the rich man called in Father Abraham. So it was not only a high flyer on earth. In heaven, it was a high flyer. Say, Father, say, Father, please help my unbelief. Make me stronger in faith by the instrument of your word and by the help of your spirit. Please pray, pray, pray. We cannot pray because I'm not asking you to kill your enemy. Pray. This prayer is better than killing your enemies. Make me stronger in faith, Lord. Take me by the instrument of your word and your spirit. In the name of Jesus, make it stronger. Make me stronger. Make me stronger. The stronger your faith, the more realistic is your flight. The more realistic is your flight. Thank you, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, please open your eyes. That's if you close it. It's because you have not gone high. That is why you are seeing your shadow. When you get to the height that is real high, you can't see your shadow. You can't see your shadow. This flight, the flight of the eagle is above the shadow. I'm going higher. Yes, I am. I'm going higher someday. Hallelujah. I'm going higher. Go Jesus to Hallelujah. I'm above the shadows, shadows into the presence of God. Hallelujah. Into the presence of Jesus, I'm going. Amen. When we sing that song, some people don't sing. They say it's, they think it's about dying. It's not about dying because the Bible says, "In His presence there is a what." As you are standing, you are standing in His presence. So we are not talking about uh, I'm going to die today so that I can sing. No, 
we've told you it's not a physical state. It is a, it's not a place, but what? A spiritual state. It's a state where you can look the devil face to face and say, <laughs> I dare you. And you are saying that because you know you are seated in Christ on the right hand side of God in heavenly places, far above. Far above. You can dare anybody. You can dare any devil. And dare anybody. Let me give this testimony. I'm sorry you are standing. We are standing together. My wife was a banker. Heading international operations in one of those banks. That is the department that does all the stealing in dollars and pounds. And the owner of the bank, all the owner of the banks, forget about what the people are saying. That's the department where they, because to steal one billion, you know, is smaller when it is in dollar. You can keep it. Then this woman looked at her and said one day, if she dies now, she's not going to heaven. She's not stealing, but she's stealing for the owner of the bank because now she they pay her salary. Now the thing where the owner of the job say, make you do now, you go do. Say, no, I'm not going. Because each time you tell, Oga, chairman, we can't do it this way. He said, go and tell your father to open a bank for you. <laughs> so she decided she was going. She left. And one thing that man believes is nobody can leave him unless he sacks you. Everybody who has left, I won't mention his name, he's a popular rich billionaire in Nigeria. Every, everyone who left, he will take them, give them house in Ekoi, give them cars, and he will now sack them and spoil their CV. They can't get job anywhere again. He will entice them with anything. So she left. She dropped, I was the one that dropped the letter. And she left our house. She went to camp for one week. Because we know people, and people were coming every day. They were throwing letters. They were throwing things inside our company. We open for them. Or God wants you. Name anything you wanted. Name a house. Where you want your house. Where, what kind of car. Change, I will change your official car. She was not even around, let alone seeing all those of her. So she left. When they tried, I'm going, a month or so after, the katakata that happened in the banking sector, that year happened. Every head of international in all the banks, EFCC locked them up. My wife has resigned. <laughs> she has left. The owner of the bank took took a kutonu na kutonu to take come out for Nigeria. <laughs> brethren, brethren, God will help you to live above the shadows. When you look at the carrot that the devil is dangling, sometimes you cannot say no. But the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploit. See, the day she left, you now we have never begged for food. In fact, we have done better than when she was earning salary and I'm also having my own. That is the God we serve. Believe you me, brethren, you will not suffer. Your needs will be met. Your life will take a better turn. Take your ground for God. And continue the flight. Lift up your hand and say, Father, help my faith to see you in every situation, no matter how difficult things may be. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Help my faith to see you in every situation, no matter how difficult things may be. Help me to see you. After all, I am an eagle flying. I am an eagle flying. Oh, yes, Father. Thank you. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I've uh, spoken about two things. You need power and you need faith. The last one, which we are also going to you, you need, you need to, of course, this, the, the, the last one is also a function of the second one. When you have faith, okay, let me let me use this as an example. When you have faith, um, you are in a better position to trust God. But faith and trust is not the same thing. Trust is a higher level of faith. Don't look at your watch, sir. <laughs> faith is a higher level. I'm uh, sorry, trust is a higher level of uh, faith. They are, they are, trust is a senior brother. Let me give this example. In uh, in Canada, there is there is a sport they call uh, tightrope walking on, on rope. 
There are people who can walk on rope. It's a sport. They will just be doing like this on thing, you know. So they did that sport. They put that rope on one leg, about 30 meters high over the leg for like about 10 meters. You can imagine the distance. The walker will walk on the rope. The rope is 30 meters high from the lake. Underneath is, is water. If he misses and he falls, where is he going to? Into the water. And spot. People will be on this side. People will be on this side. And he walked. And he walked. And they were clapping. And he walked. And he crossed to the other side. And he said, do you know how many people here believe I can walk back? Everybody said yes. After all, they have seen him. He has walked to one side. Everybody said yes. Yes. He now say, how many people believe that I can go back carrying somebody on my hand and I walk? They say, yes. The senator he now asked for a volunteer. Nobody could volunteer. You understand what I'm saying? They believe you can carry somebody and see walk back on the road. Okay, come make I carry you. Say, no, do somebody else. So they have faith, but they cannot trust him with their life. So trust is a higher level of faith. Somebody this morning, you would trust God with your life. It will take care of your life. It will take care of your life. When it takes you to the destination, you will thank God you will hand it over your life to him. Lift up your voice and say, Father, the totality of my life, I hand over to you this morning. Go ahead and do as you please with my life and destiny. Pray. Go ahead and do. I say, peace is you. Branga ya gale bro, yege se kele bro, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and do as it pleases you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So the third one is actually trusting God to obey him fully. Trusting him to the point that you are able to obey him fully. It may sound foolish. The instruction may sound foolish. But because you have trusted him, Esther said, I will go before the king at a time when nobody is permitted. He said, if I perish, I perish. But she didn't perish. She didn't perish. She didn't perish. It takes instruction to fly above the shadows. Every flying school all over the world, they had instructors, not professors. It is not professing, it is instructing. When you have instructor and you take, you take, you obey the instructions from that instructor, you will fly. And the instruction is the word of God. Be ready, it may sound foolish, be ready to go all the way. Be ready to go all the way. Be ready to go. A young Greek ruler, he wanted to do everything the Bible says. And he ran to Jesus with excitement. Good master, what can I, what will I do to enter into the kingdom of God? And Jesus stopped and said, obey all the laws, all the commandments. You know, he said, this I have always obeyed from the days of my youth. And the Bible said, Jesus loved him. Oh, somebody obey. He said, from the days of my youth, I have always obeyed. Jesus loved him. He now said, one thing thou lacketh, go and sell everything and go and give it to the poor. The Bible said, the man who ran with excitement, he walked away with sorrow. <laughs> what, is, what is too much for you to release for this God? If the instruction comes, you say, I trust Jesus, so, but this one, what you say, make I do? I know, I know, I know believe. I know believe. My for what come be here. <laughs> is there anything you don't want God to touch in your life lift up your hand and say father I now understand the totality of my life belongs to you and I'm ready to let go anything for you pray in the name of you I'm ready to let go I receive grace to let go to let go to let go to let. because people who are here you small people God will use you to build this place you'll be ready to let go anything anything because God will use this seed to take you to where you are going I'm ready to let go anything, anything for, for you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you, my Father. Glory or not to your name forever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my Father. 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 
Thank you, my Father. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. With all eyes closed, is there anyone here who has not given his life to Jesus? You need this power to fly. You need this power to fly. You need this power. The flying we are talking about is not physical flight. We are talking spiritually this morning. With all eyes closed, if there's anyone who has not given his life and you want to try Jesus, please, I recommend him. I recommend him. The way you believe the doctor for your medication, believe the physician this morning and your life will take a new turn. Anybody, you want to give your life to Jesus, lift up your hand, let me pray for you as I go. If you want to give your life to Jesus, you are here, you have not given your life to Jesus, or you want to rededicate your life, don't worry about anyone else. Focus on yourself. Lift up your hand, let me pray for you. Lift up your hand. God bless you, my brother, because you are honest. Many people do it, they are not honest with themselves, and they miss opportunities. Lift up your hand. God bless you. God bless you. Those hands. Go, those hands. God bless you. God bless you. God will lift it up. Lift it up very well. Lift it up. Oscar, can you put a card in your hand? Can you put your card in your hand? Every hand up. Put your card. If these are the reasons why I came here today, the name of the Lord is glorified. Put a card in your hand. Put your decision card in your hand, in your hands. Oh, your decision card in each of your hands. Take it, take it, my brother. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Heaven will bear you witness today. Just put your card. Put your card in the hand. Put your card in the hand there. Put your card. Put your card in every hand that is lifted. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus will worship you. Thank you. The Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Please come forward. If you can, it will be on. If you are holding the can, please come forward. Come forward with your car. Yes. Father, I thank you for this, your children who have come forward this morning. Who have come to embrace you as the owner of their souls these ones are not cajole it's their decision daddy you said no one that comes to you will, will you cast away daddy do not cast these ones away receive them unto you unto yourself by your spirit open yourself unto them again in the name of jesus as they are led to confess jesus as lord and savior daddy let a new life begin in them. And with your right hand of righteousness, hold them for this new journey. They will journey with you to the very end. They will not go back to the world. And the people who surround them, they will see a difference between their life before and now. And it shall be well with them. Thank you, eternal Father. There is no medicated soul that can wash sin away. The blood that you shed at, at, the, at the Calvary, my Father, let it wash them clean. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm going to pray for everybody this morning. After that, you can go, boy. I want you to be here. Is there anything you want God to do for you? If you, if you, if you, if you see Jesus face to face today, and he asks you to, he, he tells you to ask for one thing. One thing. Can you tell him what that one thing will be? Don't tell him, speak to his ears. That one thing that you want God to do for you. Can you speak it to his ears? In a minute, in a minute, in a minute, let's talk to the Lord. Let's talk to the Lord. Make your request known unto the Lord. Make it known unto the Lord. Make it known unto the Lord. Make it known unto the Lord. Let's begin to bring our prayer to a close. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
I broke myself. I am more than a That is sown unto you as a seed to me. That it, let it be acceptable in your sight. In the name of Jesus. 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 I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. God will give you peace. I pray God will give you peace. It will cause his peace to reign within your world. The peace of God will reign within your world. It's protecting the world within your palaces. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. In the name of Christ, let's break through. Everywhere you go and whatever you do, God will go to break through. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every contention of hell. Against the goal of your life is found to today. Every power of hell of is found to today. Every power of hell against your rising is found to today. But the enemies are doing it, they are coming against your family is found to today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are wasting your effort before today. They are wasted. They are wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus, every house receiving your presence to care for the In the name of Jesus, every house. Saying you will not fly, that you will that is, I cancel the world in the name of Jesus. From this moment, you will rise. I say you are rising. You are rising. The power of heaven will give you a lift, and it will take you to the level you are. The level you are created to be. You will swallow like the eagle. Your wings will not be clipped. I think your wings will not be clipped. In the mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it matters. God will give you a voice to speak. I said, Yeah, it matters. God will give you a voice to speak. And when you speak, even the enemy will obey you. The enemy will obey you. The enemy will obey you. You will not go show. You will not partake in reproach. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. In the midst of people that matters, in the places that matters within the four corners of the world, it will make you to be in the front. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Things that you have tried before that did not work, everything you lay your hands upon from now will begin to flourish. Will begin to flourish. 
they will begin to flourish. By extension, I pray for the lighthouse. Your light will begin to shine brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Your gate is open. Men, desires of nations shall flow into this place. Men, that matter to flow into this place. As God is asking, as God is raising your members to become people that matter, other people that matter outside will be drawn in. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Before we know it, everything you desire to do shall be accomplished. So we will not struggle to accomplish it. I think we will not struggle to accomplish it. You will become a You will become a reference point in this state. In the name of Jesus. In your family, you will become a reference point. In the name of Jesus. I hide you under the banner of his name. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it. And they are saved. This week, you are saved. This month, you are saved. This week, you are saved. For the rest of your days, I declare you saved. Trouble will not catch over, catch up with you. Trouble will not meet you. You will not meet trouble. You will not end up on a journey that you will not return. Your journey this week will not end in the grave. The Lord will preserve you, and it shall be well with you. I declare that it is well with you. Spirit, soul, and body. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let the church of God shout in you. Please, please, you can go and meet the man in suit. And that's it, please, can you be seated? Can you go to the man in suit? God bless you. Amen. Let's clap, let's clap, let's clap, let's clap. Hallelujah. Today is specially special. We call it a we called it a special program, but I didn't know how special it would be. Glory be to God and minister to. I want us to shut out our hands and just pray for Daddy that the Lord will bless him. Daddy asks that you will refill him, that you will bless him, that you will renew him, keep him far above circumstances of life, keep him far above circumstances of ministry. Lord, circumstances, oh God of economy. Lord, I ask Jehovah that you will secure him where you have kept him. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Daddy. Please be seated. Now, when you are asked how far, I know you know what to tell them. How far? How far? Praise the Lord. You know, that scripture has not made much sense to me to today. Praise the Lord. So when they ask you how far, the reality is that you are really what? John said that he that is above is above all. Praise God. You will no longer see your shadow. Maybe because I'm the one holding the mic. These are the things I picked. I know you picked a lot. Thank you, sir. I'm well minister too. Now, Daddy, I, I didn't tell you this, but please pardon me. This is our small victory. I'm happy that you are happy and you are excited because you were here. It was him that directed us on how, you know, we did not design, they did not do any architectural drawing. We did equate style. If you have lived in Port Harcourt, equate people, they build house, they put it like this, or you go like this. That is how we built it. And it was out of our frustration that the Lord has glorified his name in our life. So, sir, we want to celebrate this our small victory. We want you to cut the tape and dedicate this our small church for us in another seven minutes. Praise God. So, the protocol will be that um, the choir will take our offering alongside. The choir will come minister to us. We'll take our offering. We have a representative of the, we have the ministers. We'll go through this door because that place is locked. I will have a representative of the youth, a representative of the children, a representative of the elders go with us through this door as the offering is going on and we will go dedicate this, our small manger. We call it the manger, the lighthouse manger. Um, before I come down, I would like you to know that the coming week is packed to the glory of God. We will be having a special three days program, which is called the Hear My Cry, O Lord. Clap for Jesus. And it's going to be a zona program. And so the whole zone will be here. On Friday, we'll have a night vigil. Um, and on Saturday, it's going to be a praise encounter. And Sunday, 
will also be a prayer Sunday. So join us. This flyer will be going around as I come down. The ushers will share it to you. Please bring somebody. And lastly, this morning we did something and I was happy at what the Lord did. I would like you to join us every Sunday morning to go and evangelize and speak to others about Jesus Christ um, just within the hour of 8 to about 8.30, 8.45. God bless you, choir.
While you are dancing, while you are rejoicing, sicknesses we are leaving bodies. Do you believe that as you are dancing, all the demons that have been following you, they will say they will run away from you and forever? Do you believe that your breakthrough is being released as you are dancing? Because the Bible says, in the presence of God, there is what fullness, fullness of joy. Today, you are going to have your full package. The Bible says in Luke chapter 9, verse 21, it says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And I pray that because you believe today, there will be manifestation in your life in the name of Jesus. And let us pray. Father, we thank you for the offering of your children. Let it come to you, O Lord, as a sweet-smelling savour. Even as we have danced in your presence, even as we have rejoiced, May we be blessed in the name of Jesus. Receive it and receive us, O Lord, that each time we come into your presence, we shall touch the hem of your garment. And we know that nobody touches the hem of your garment and remains the same. All these your children that have danced and rejoiced, their lives will never remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 
All right. We thank God for a wonderful service. We want to. You can sit down, please. God bless you. You have done very well. Choir, let's clap for the choir again. Mighty people. Thank you, choir. God bless you. If there's anyone worshiping with us for the first time, we would like to welcome you in a special way. We have a special way of welcoming those that are worshiping with us because you're special. So if you're worshiping with us for the first time, just wave your hand. Wave your hand so that I can see you from here. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless. You. Please wave it. I want to see it. I want to see it. God bless you. Please just rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I want to welcome you so that the people around you can welcome you. Just stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Please just around you and welcome them. Go and welcome them. Jesus is just joining us i want to pray for you that you are you didn't come here by accident you didn't come here in error God has ordered your step. The Bible said that the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. And when God orders your steps, he will make everything work for you. I pray for you that everything will begin to work for you in the name of Jesus. When next you come, you'll be welcoming more people who are coming to the lighthouse. This is the lighthouse. Here the light of God is upon us. And will continue to shine brighter and brighter in Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, our Ushers will give you a card to fill, and then they will welcome you, especially in our own way. So don't be in a hurry to go. Go ahead. And you can sit down. God bless you, my sister. It's now time for us to close. But before, the, remember the announcement our pastor made that this week we have Hear My Cry, O Lord, program. And it's starting on Friday with a night vigil. is a zonal vigil. So we must show the zone that was the zonal headquarters. Did, I, did you hear me? You must show the zone that you are the zona headquarters. So they are coming to join you to celebrate with us. And it's going to be a powerful vigil. After that, there will be a praise session on, on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll wrap it up with the Sunday service. I pray that God Almighty will bless you. Have you been blessed today? If you have been blessed, rise up on your feet and just wave your hand unto God and thank for his faithfulness, for his love, for everything. If there's anything you have benefited today, just go ahead and thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Father, we say thank you for all the good things you have done. We say thank you. Glory, honor, and adoration be to you forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As you go, the Lord will go with you. The blessing of God will be with you all through the week. And you will rejoice. In Jesus' name, we pray. Before we share the grace, I want to let you know that there's some, re some refreshment that has been prepared for everyone. So please, once we finish, you sit down. Um, we'll tell you exactly how to go about it. Don't be in a hurry to go. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you amen i sincerely want to apologize for close for us closing later than 11 o'clock today is a special day and we could not control the event sorry sorry thank you that's one secondly 
hold on, instrumentalists. I want to thank you, special instrumentalists. Let's clap for them. They have done very well. Now, if you see what we read in the Bible, John 1, 12, to them that receive him, what will you receive is the word of God you receive. To them that receive him, he gave power to become the children of God. I want to invite you for Tuesday services where we study the word of God. It's only when you hear the word of God, receive it, that you will receive power to run your race. We are here to encourage you for your um, race to the kingdom of God. And I'm telling you, it's awesome when you come here every Tuesday. Join us this Tuesday. Join us on Thursday. We'll be here to pray. If you have any prayer requests, any special requests or prayer, we take those on Thursdays. Join us. Um, Lagos is full of hustling and bustling. It's full of you know challenges of traffic and um, everything. Make a little time this week Tuesday to join us and Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. I'm also encouraging you don't miss this Friday night video program. And on Sunday, the coming Sunday, something happened this morning. We went to Chinese estate. Uh, those my sister that came from Chinese, are they here? They're gone. All right. They were going to church, and we gave them our tracks. They were about to enter taxi to go to church. And they said, two ladies and about three children. They said, why don't we just follow you? And I'm sure they have enjoyed themselves. And before we left for that, I told everybody, I said, you wouldn't know who God will use you to bring into the kingdom. Just go and share the good news. So I'm inviting everybody here for Sunday, 8 a.m. We'll go out again for 30 minutes. The Lord bless you. If the food is ready, we will eat. If it's not ready, I know that the schedule of a lot of people is already closed up. If you can't wait, it's unfortunate. But for those that can wait, please wait. The food is coming. Is it ready? That's exactly what I'm saying. They are on their way. <laughs> okay, so all workers of Lighthouse will start our training right now. If you want to join us, if you want to join us in our training, please just come forward this way. We'll start our training for 30 minutes while the food is being waited for. Thank you.